Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are on the Monport K40 again and we are going to see how it does with leather. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Yep, before we get into the leather journal, uh, we were reading up on some maybe some issues the new board had. Yeah, uh, some people are reporting that say they put in for the head to move 10 millimeters and the laser head ends up moving 40 millimeters. Right, and uh, before we ruin a journal, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to test that out. Yeah, so what I've done in Lightburn is I've set up essentially three squares moving around, uh, one at 10 millimeters, one at 20, and then one at 50. So we're going to burn that real quick and then we're going to measure it to see what it's doing. All right, let's check them and see how they did. Well, ours seems pretty darn close, so we are going to um, do up a design to put on the journal. Okay, here we are in Lightburn. Made sure we are in the K40, so I know that we are in the right sizes. And then we are going to import some pictures uh, that we downloaded. So this is what we are going to start with. Fox, man, Mandela a little bit and I'm gonna shrink that down so we get it to a closer size that we want okay and then we can zoom in still not the exact right size but that is fine so what we're going to do here is we're going to trace image and if you notice some of these aren't exactly showing up right and we want those there. This is the setting that I tend to like. And then I go in and I delete some of these weird artifacts. Uh, so I put it on sketch trace. I take it down to threshold zero and I hit OK. Now you can see there's weird artifacts in here that you don't necessarily want. But then it also doesn't change this. So when I get rid of all these artifacts, this will fill in black. Uh, like how we wanted it to start with. So, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the whole thing. We right click on that and we are going to ungroup. Now that means we can now select individual things and delete. So we're going to go through and delete everything that we do not want in the picture. All right, so, and this will take a little bit of time as you get used to going and selecting and deleting. Now we don't want any of this part because we want that whole ear to be dark. So that's how we do it. We just go in, select those, and we will keep working our way around, getting rid of everything we don't want, just the little imperfections. Now some things in the actual burning aren't going to show up because they're too small. So like this line's not going to be like this because the laser is just going to burn through that once. So continue to just take out the parts that you don't want in. Uh, like I said, not all of it matters. Some of it will show up, some of it won't. But we don't want anything like that randomly showing up there. Now what we're going to do is we want it all to be grouped again. So we highlight the whole thing, so we get everything in there and we click group. So now we're back to a single one, we can move everything at once. If you don't do this, you'll accidentally get things out of alignment. All right, and now we are going to put a letter in here. So you go in, pick the font that you want. This is one that Aaron has picked. Going to type in an L. Go back to selector tool. 
and we can size that and you know move it around what we want is something like this we want it to kind of be a letterhead almost with the L crossing into the drawing and then you just kind of move it around where you want it get it sized about where you want it and the cool thing I figured out here is that we can select everything now you can come to these and you can start combining them or separating them and see what you get this one is the one that I liked the best because what it does is actually gonna incorporate the L all the way in right so now when you go and preview that the L is going to be dark and it's going to be all the way in almost like the round of the shoulder. It looks, we really liked this. We thought it looked super neat together. All right. So last thing we need to do in here, because we are going to resize this and move it around to figure out exactly where we want it on the leather journal. It'd be the same thing if it was wood, depending on where you can actually put uh, the wood. Because of the journal, it's going to have the middle part here and we want it on the front page. So it's going to be somewhere in this kind of an area. Now speed. We don't exactly know what speed we want. This is what our last project was at. Um, and I am worried. But we certainly don't want constant power. Uh, it is just going to be one pass. Now where I'm worried about on this is that we probably don't want it to be 130. So what we found is that if you burn too fast with the K40, uh, like I stated in the last video, the voltage sending to the power supply is going to be a little slow. So it's not going to get the small lines. So probably going to need to drop this down in speed and then adjust the power accordingly. We're just going to test it out a few times and uh, see what works best for the leather. And then we'll move on to the actual final project. So we'll start here, 130 and 50 percent. Uh, it's fine with me. Just make sure constant power is off, and one pass. And scan angle. I do not want it to go left to right. I actually want it to go up and down. And this is going to be the part that I am worried about down here in the tail. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do 90, negative 90. That way it's going to start on this side and go up and down so we will do this part at this speed see what works and when that works then we will finish an entire pass and now we can get it connected to the laser and run in our first passes don't forget to save it all right now we've got that let's get back out on the laser did a few test passes to kind of figure out our speed uh, versus power because once again we were having the issue where we go too fast then it doesn't burn everything. The board seems a little slow on when it sends percentages or the power supply just can't keep up with it. I don't know which one it is, but that's what we run into. So I did 130 millimeters a second to start, which is quite fast. And it just wasn't getting out here around the tail. Um, it was doing it down at the bottom, but nothing here. So I went ahead and I slowed it down and we backed it down to 100 millimeters a second and then it actually started burning everything and then we just kind of settled on power and we're going to run this one at 100 millimeters a second and 50 percent power all right so this is how we are going to run this journal it does have a bump in the middle so i'm using magnets i pulled the plate out uh, this is all aluminum, so magnets won't work. So what we've done is we've sandwiched magnets top and bottom on the plate. And then I'm going to have to actually move the design around and light burn to get it lined up. Because I don't know exactly where it is yet. So we can get this in here now. And drop it down in. Alright, now we'll get it lined up and we will do the burn.
All right, all done, and it took just under 21 minutes. This thing is so much faster than the diodes we've used before. There is another slight little problem that we have. Um, there's a little bit of a ghost image. It's not fully burning it, but it's leaving a slight little mark in the leather. Um, it might go away when we clean it up. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's in the mirror uh, on the actual laser head that was running into the rails when the limit switches weren't working. When uh, when I first put the board in, I put the X and the Y in where it was labeled to put it in, and the Y was the wrong way. So it kept ramming into the rail. So it might have thrown off that mirror slightly. So I'm going to take that off, uh, reset it, put it back in, and test it again after that. Um, I'll let you know how that works out in a later video, though. So we're going to get this cleaned up and put back together and get it out to the new owner. All right, got it all cleaned up, uh, put back together, and that little ghost image just looks like a shadow, and it's actually pretty neat on this one. Yeah. Uh, still definitely want to get it fixed <laughs> yes. uh, for any kind of wood. It's not going to look as good on wood as it does on here. All right, if you've had problems with this uh, ghost imaging or something you want to see done, make sure to comment below and let us know. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.